And so from my perspective, uh, Ethereum may do many, many things well, but first and foremost, it is going to be the platform on which the world is going to build all the next generation of financial and industrial infrastructure, and the value is going to come from the transaction fees, the staking, and the engagement, more than treating it as like a, a pure scarcity asset. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so that actually transitions perfectly into my last question, because I was going to ask, you know, to end on this note, we're, we've talked a lot about ETH, being used for a financial system, but also, or you know, being home to the most stable coins by volume as of February, you said, or on Twitter, I think, Josh. But, um, or basically my question is whether in the next 10 years, Ethereum's goal is to be the global infrastructure layer, or is it to be this place for, like a hub for decentralized finance, like a financial, decentralized financial system? What is it sort of leaning towards, or can it incorporate a little bit of both? Yes, so for me, this answer is really simple. 100% of business agreements boil down to this. I've got money, you have stuff, we are exchanging my money for your stuff, whether it's a financial asset or a physical asset, under the terms of some kind of agreement. It could be DeFi, it could be interest bearing, it could be a loan, it could be a procurement agreement. Doesn't matter what it is, it all is going to be done on Ethereum. Yeah, my answer is also both. 